Hey folks, welcome to Open Source Options. Today I'm going to show you how you can download LiDAR in the United States. We're going to download both a LiDAR derived DEM and a LiDAR point cloud. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to do is go to where we can download the data. So we're going to go to um, the USGS national map. I'm just searching for that in Google. And um, I want to go to the national map here. I think this will give us what we want. Okay. And then when you come to this here on the National Geospatial Program, we just want to go find where we can download. And right here it says TNM topography. We'll go there. So apps.nationalmapviewer.gov forward slash viewer. All right. So I'm just going to wait for this to load up, and hopefully it does. There we go. And now the United States, the USGS, is collecting one meter topography for the entire United States. It's not all the way done yet, but there are a lot of data available. So we're going to find some of those data. So I'm going to go to Data Download, and it's going to open up a new map, which is a data downloader. And close this old tab. And over here on the left-hand side, I have options for what I can uh, select. So let's come down. Uh, let's come down to elevation products, three depth, and let's select one meter. And if I click this show button, it's going to show me where all those data are available. So you can see that brown shows me where these data are available. Um, and these are going to be DEMs. You'll notice down here, if I scroll down, we have elevation source data, which is going to be LIDAR and IFSAR, which is radar. Um, but let's go ahead and get a DEM first. So let's see, where's some, ooh, this looks interesting over here in Idaho. Got some nice topography in here. So let's just zoom in to an area. This sure this looks interesting. Okay, so now we can see that there are data available here. I have the one meter DEM selected. I can now select search products. It's going to take a minute, and now you can see it's pulling up all these different tiles. I have a thumbnail here, and there are two different options to download here. And we can highlight those thumbnails. So I'm going to go ahead and download this first one. We see this download link for a TIFF. Um, this is going to be 10,000 cells by 10,000 cells. So it's a relatively eh, moderately sized DEM or raster file. I'm going to click a download link. And this is going to let me download. So let's go to C. Um, let's go to temp. Let's go to elevation. Let's make a new folder. Let's call this LiDAR. LiDAR Dem, and let's double click here and save that. All right, so this is going to take about 20 minutes to download. It's a half gig, so we're going to let that go. Now, while that's going, I'm going to go and I'm going to show you how you can also download um, the point cloud. So let's go back to data sets here. I'm going to uncheck elevation products. I'm going to check the elevation source data. And I want the LiDAR point cloud. And we can click show again just to make sure it covers this area, which it should. There's a LiDAR derived DEM. So you can see we have green here. And so we've got that selected. I'm not going to zoom out to show you just so that you can see me download, so I can download the same extent. So now let's go search products. And we're searching, 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 searching. And hopefully we get the same products that we had at the last one of the same extents so that we can download the point cloud that is associated with the digital elevation model we're downloading. Okay, and you can see here we have two different point clouds. Oh, we have a lot of different point clouds. You can see there's some, if you look here, we've got a whole lot of these point clouds. And you can see over on the side of my screen, it will highlight the areas as I go as I go through them. So we're going through all these. I want to find one that kind of corresponds maybe to this area around here. Maybe 
one of these here coming up. Is there one more? Let's do, let's do this one. Let's see this one. So we can download the LAZ file. Downloading it here. And let's go elevation and let's pick a new folder and we'll call this LIDAR LAZ. And let's put it right in there and let's save that. Okay, now this is also probably gonna take a while. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video while all these things download. And once they've downloaded, um, I'll start the video up again, and you will be able to see, we'll just open up the DEM and QGIS so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so we have those downloaded. Let's go open up QGIS. Um, this is version, I believe, 3.14. I'm going to go to the browser. I'm going to go to where I downloaded these two. In the C drive, temp, elevation, my LiDAR DEM, and I'm going to pull in the one meter DEM here, and we'll just take a real quick look at that. We'll just accept the projection, and that looks really interesting. Let's just take a look. Where's my, let's just grab this and see what we got here. No data. That's very interesting. So let's just try something. Sometimes dragging it in can cause problems. I'm gonna remove this layer and I'm gonna click add raster layer here. And I'm going to go, I'm going to navigate to it this way. So elevation, LiDAR DEM. I'm going to open this up. And let's click add. Okay. Ooh, we still have this. Let's see what we get. Okay, so these values look correct. We still have some weirdness going on because it shows the min and max are these, which are just basically no data values. You can see we actually have that going on. Um, let's just go ahead and see if we can symbolize this a little differently. And uh, let's make our minimum zero and our max 3,000. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so that's a little better. So we just kind of filtered those out. And now you can see the topography in there. And we can probably actually even change this to about 1,500 and apply that. And I wonder if we change that even to 2,000. Apply that. Okay, there we go. So now you're starting to see some of that contrast in the DEM from the LiDAR. So that's how you can download um, a LiDAR DEM or a, D a LiDAR derived DEM and the actual LiDAR data for the United States and load up the DEM and QGIS and change the symbology if you need to. Coming up in a future video, I'm going to show you how we can actually interact with point clouds in QGIS, so stay tuned for that, guys. Thanks for watching.